Why do you never find mathematicians spending time at the beach? Because they have sine and cosine to get a tan and they don't need the sun. Good morning, AJ. It's Monday, May 25th, and throwaway joke is a go. I hope you enjoy this. <laughs> I hope that you and everybody else are not disappointed because this is another one of those days when I don't really have a lot of time to make a vlog because I have a whole bunch of work to do tomorrow for tomorrow and I didn't realize that it was this late because I kind of forgot to make a video so I'm gonna shoot this off real quick I had a teacher in high school and I don't remember who it was but they showed us a study that on three-day weekends students are much less likely to actually get any work done and the reason is that we kind of you know, we think that we have so much more time because it's a three-day weekend that we just blow it off until the last minute, and I think that's what happened to me. However, we should be very happy because there are only two more weeks left of school, I think. Now, this brings up this interesting question of what are we going to do this summer with the project? I know that you are going to be taking classes in the summer, but that still means that you're going to be here for like one or two months. Now, are we... What what exactly are we going to do? Are we just going to kind of vlog and then, like, you come over and we laugh about it or something like that? That'll be interesting. I think this is an important thing to figure out because it is the future of our project. AJ, I am very concerned about this duplicate me wreaking havoc in Bellingham, but I'm not sure that you conjectured his existence entirely correctly. Unfortunately, AJ, I am a firm believer in Stephen Hawking's chronology protection conjecture, which basically states that the grandfather paradox cannot exist because there is only one unchangeable timeline. Basically what I'm saying is that when I went forward in time, I didn't change history because that was history and that was meant to be. So I could not have created a paradox in that way. However, this does bring to light the alarming fact that Cthulhu has destroyed the spatial continuum and he must be stopped. Lewis, I'm sorry that I didn't talk about what I said I was gonna talk about. I'll do that on Wednesday. AJ, I'll see you tomorrow.